name is Brian and welcome to Pie Society. We don't have chandeliers and we don't have tablecloths and we're not fine dining, so we kind of took that element that bars are fun and they're exciting and alcohol is to get you drunk and be silly and meet women and meet men. So we kind of just wanted to have that party vibe that you get from just about every bar, but take the cocktail program to points that are that chandelier setting and that tablecloth setting of a bar. But we wanted to do silly things, so we have a cocktail with Miller High Life as the topping on it, and then we have a cocktail that is much more of an adult cocktail where it's all alcohol, it's a lot of weird ingredients. So we try to really balance everything out. I think by making our own infusions or our own bitters or our own tinctures, the reason that we do that is that we're looking for an exact taste and the only way to get that taste is to have the person who made the drink make the actual product that go into it. So we're gonna make one of our signature cocktails called a nosedive. It is a variation of a bijou, which is a classic drink. So this drink is stirred, there's no juice in it, it's all alcohol. So we start by cracking our ice. By cracking it, it helps melt the, um, add water to the cocktail, and the goal is to get about an ounce of water in a mixed drink. So we use a, a high proof bourbon, and it's one ounce. One ounce of green chartreuse, which is an herbaceous liqueur from France. One ounce of sweet vermouth. We use uh, Carpana Antica due to the thickness and the spice blend that they have in there. And then we add a spoonful of Campari. Uh, Campari is such a potent spirit that we really just want a little bit. Fill the glass up with ice, start to stir it. And by doing this, we're now diluting the ice, which adds the water, which takes away the heat, but we're also chilling it. This drink is served in a coupe glass. So we will take our Hawthorne strainer. And then we garnish this with just the oils of a lemon. We don't actually use it in the drink. And by doing that, it's mostly for the aromatics, which is a big part of your taste. So we'll spritz it in there, get the oils all on. And then that is a nosedive. It's like you're drinking at your best friend's house or you're going to the VFW hall for a beer. We kept that Americana theme, put up an American flag. We have an eagle with a globe in it. We have a PBR sign, the Kodak sign. So we wanted to kind of go with that mom's basement vibe. Drinking stopped being fun for a little while. It just got pretentious and uncomfortable. And for people who didn't know how to pronounce certain things, it just wasn't enjoyable. So we wanted to just have fun and do silly things. Oh. 